Hey guys, hello. Um, I've uh, been wanting to do this for a little while. If you can hear that thing in the background, my mom has some like sort of horse thing. I don't know. She has a horse now. Crazy. And, and she's wanting me to wash its saddle. Good. Um, well, whatever. You guys probably can't hear that from f previous videos. I know you guys can't hear that. Um, you may be able to, I'm gonna check it afterwards, and if you can't hear it, then that's good. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how to make a simple Minecraft server. I will do, be doing bucket servers too, showing you how simple it is. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna have a, um, I, it's gonna be too short. Okay, so... What you can do is, the unrecommended version, I'll do another video over it, is this. I wouldn't do this, but I'll show you another video. So, we're going to grab this. Minecraft server. Okay, and then, say we want to install it. Oh, you right there. We go new. My happy server. Yeah, we have we have this completed so far. All good. We take that. Okay, so we take this. We drag it into this folder. It won't usually call it one. So there we go. We can do that. And then, so we have that. We can run it. That's about, it's very, very simple. It's not much. I'll explain all the folders and stuff. This all uh, over here is all okay. The warnings are okay. They're just like getting the um, folders and stuff and detecting what uh, there's there. If you have anything other than these things up here, then you probably have something broken. I, I don't know how you would have broken something. But basically, you don't need anything. You just go Minecraft.net. Home, uh, go to download, and you should be able to click this. Let me start my task manager. Okay, so this this is the world file. It contains everything. It contains your world, the Nether, and the end. This is the IPs, uh, the banned IPs. If you don't want someone joining your server, like someone who griefed your server, you can put their IP in there. You won't be able to do that. You can put their name in there. Banned IPs is to keep people who have multiple accounts from joining. OPs is admins. So you can put... And your name will not normally have spaces in it. Like, I'll use this. So, that's what you just save that. And then you have server. This is a log. It logs everything that happens in your server. And then this is the... the allow another allows people to go to your nether. The world name is what you have to set your name, what it will generate to it. Allow flight. People have mods that allow them to fly. And if they want to fly, they have to turn this to true. And the query, it's, it's block logging and stuff, if I'm not mistaken. You don't need that on. This is the port. This will be different later when we get that. The Archon, it's a manager, server manager kind of thing. Um, you don't need that. Level seed is custom seed, the IP. We'll put that in later. Um, 
the white list if you don't want people joining animals um if it's online or just between your router pvp is you want people to hit each other difficulty uh, i wouldn't change that game mode is type of game mode people start off at you can't change it back to zero or one after the world's been generated max players you guys know that monsters distance keep this like that always this is the message of the day when you join this will come up okay your whitelist you put your name in there and your friend's name if you're gonna have a whitelist server so let's play press the little windows button in the R or go down here run there should be a if if you can't do it from Windows and R, then um there should be a run. And what you can do is CMD. This comes up IP config. One word. You gotta go back all the way up. You're gonna look for. Let's see. You're gonna look for this thing. The wireless LAN adapter connection. You're gonna look for this right here. You're gonna go back. Server. Server IP 192.168.0 or 1, depending on what router you have. And then that will be your connection number. And mine's 0.5. So we have that. We can save that in there. Okay. Now we need to go to uh, one nine. And defaultly, it'll have a one at the end. Don't use your five. It'll have a one at the end. This is the default gateway. And you can press enter. Type in your normal things. And you have to be logged in for this. There's other ways to do this. And basically, you can go to basic. And this is what you're going to use to connect to it. You're going to use this thing to connect to your server. You're going to give this thing out to the people you want to connect to. And then, we go to advanced. Uh, port filtering, port forwarding. Right there. And I have tons of ports here. What you're going to do is... TCP slash UDP or it should say both and you should just type in the port you have type in your number enabled apply and then you got it that's good and then what you can do is if, if you chose a different port number you're gonna have to have the port number at the end of your thing with a you're gonna have to have that in your um, IP, how you type it in. Okay. I don't need to save that, and I can run it. Let's close it. You can close this now. You can minimize that, minimize this. You can start your Minecraft. And. You'll usually add server, add the name, the address. The name does has to be anything. It, it doesn't really matter. The address is the only thing that matters, and you can connect. Well, that happens a lot. This will happen a lot because, I, I don't know, it, it, it sometimes happens. Don't just, like, close your Minecraft. Reopen your Minecraft. And connect. You shouldn't use the spawn in water, so. Now that is amazing world. So, you'll usually the spawn in normal world. And your friends and everyone else, they can just join you. With your IP, they can just join you like this. It's amazing. 
So that, that's about it. You can hit disconnect. Close out your Minecraft. Come back in. When you're ready. If you want to save it. You do that. Close it. Go to your heavy server. Change out world files. You just replace the name with the world. It's about it. If you guys need anything. Like any help with this stuff. Um, you can comment or message me. Remember to um, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. That's one of the most important things. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, bye guys.